So now we're going to look at how we can create an express server as well as setting up a basic path. And to do this, I'm also going to create my own example right here just to show you how it works from the start. Because if you look over here, this has already been set up for us. So I'm just going to create a new folder here and I'm just going to call it express app. And then I'm going to show you how you set up a node project as well as import express. So just open up um, the folder for wherever you want your app to be. So if I just open this up here, and then what you want to do is just open the terminal inside that folder and then put npm in it. And this creates a new npm project. And then just put your package name in. So I'm just going to put express app like this. Put a version number in like this just leave a description for now. I'm going to call the entry point app.js. So that's like the main starting script that you want to run. Um, I'm just going to leave these blank for now. Author, I'll just put my name. License, I'll just put MIT and just press, yeah, just enter yes. Okay, so now we've got the package.json in right here. And as you can see, you've got the app set up. Now we also need to install Express. And what you can do is you can create a dependencies thing and write in Express and then run npm install. Or you can just type in here, npm install Express like this, and just press enter. And what that'll do is it'll add Express to our package.json and it will install Express for us. So if we look at dependencies now, we have Express and its version number in here. And in node modules, we've got um, Express imported as well as all of its dependencies. So the next thing I want to do is just create the app.js like this. And if you want to import Express into this, we can just say let Express equals require Express. And now we can just use Express like this to just do any kind of Express function we want. So the first thing we need to do is create an express app and I'm just going to call this app for now. And the way you create an express app is simply just run the express method, which we've imported from here. So if you have a look at this, it says creates an express application. Now what it says here, um, if you look here, it says that if you want to start running an app, you put app.listen and then a port number that you want the app to run in. So if I want the app to be running on port 3000, I would just put app.listen like this and then I'd put 3000 like this. So what this means essentially is that this is currently the local machine. So if you go to localhost 3000, this is the app running right here. Now we haven't started anything, which is why it's not doing anything right now. So now that we've got an express app created, we're going to be creating a basic route. And to do this, we if you look here, it says app dot and then method. So this method is a HTTP method. And there's a few that we looked at. And it was in the D3 in, in the D3 course as well. So we have get head post put delete. So we're just going to go with get so that when a user loads a page, we want to just return a string. So the syntax is app.method and then the first argument is the path and second argument is the handler function. So if I wanted to return the string hello world when they go to localhost 3000 slash hello, I'll just put app.get like this. The first argument is the path, so I'm just going to put slash hello like this. And the second argument is a function. And this function takes in two objects. So it takes in a request object and a response object. So I'm just going to put in here request and then response like this and save that. So then um, if we want to send a string, we can just do response.send and then just put the string in like this and it will send that string off. So when they go to slash hello, we want to send the string, so response.send, and I'll just put hello world like this. And if I save that now, and the way I start up this server is I would just do node and then the name of the file, so app.js like this. So now the server is running. So if I go back to localhost 3000, 
it says this is because we don't have a root for slash but if I put here slash hello like this we can see that the string hello world has been returned so the root slash hello has been set to return this string right here so that's essentially what we're going to be doing here so what they want us to do is uh, uh, use the app or get to serve hello express so when you go to just slash so just the main route so if they just go to the main route so localhost 3000 or whatever we want to serve the string hello express so to do this um, they said that uh, you should normally listen the app but they've not listened it here that's because they've done it in the server.js so we don't need to worry about the app or listen part so all we need to do is set it the root so where it says here just do app dot get because they've set app to be the express app and then the root is just slash which is the root root and then you just have a function that takes in a request and a response here like this and they want us to send a text back so I'll just do response dot send and the uh, text they want is hello express like this I'm just gonna double check that And yeah, it's just Hello Express. So if I just format it and save it, and then we click Live App here, copy this link, and if I just put this into my browser, we can see that the Hello Express string has now been returned. So it's the same thing that we did locally here, but this has just been hosted now. And all we need to do is just paste in this URL right here and then click I've completed. And that's it. I know it was quite a long video, but I just wanted to make sure that I taught exactly what was going on here.